Just been finding so much of the footy. Bagley comes back in, Heppel comes back in, some real experience for the Bombers as well. The ball in the middle, about to get underway. Packed Marvel Stadium. Jake Springer and Marcus Bontempelli side by side for the ball up. The two superstars head to head and Stringer rips the first one away. Dunkley, runners are plenty. Johannesson, he might go for home here. Sizes them up, runs the full measure. And misses to Bontempelli. That wasn't part of the plan. And he pulls his kick late. Dale. It's been outstanding this year, and that was a good grab. Accurate kick to 11 goals, four, so reliable. Normally. I did a game with you last week. Dale. One arm held, one arm on the Sharon. Redman, Dale, Dale, still a chance. Flicked it to Smith. Got a free. Yeah, just dragged him off it there. Probably wasn't aware that he didn't have the ball, but the right decision. Every game in his first season. Bailey Smith, their pick seven in last year's draft. And he puts the dogs in front. We had a discussion about before the game. And this kid has been fantastic for the dogs. He's been he's been a real revelation. So we've probably had half a dozen young guys come into the competition and uh, play really well. And, and as I said, I've seen him play live a number of times. Terrific young player. Juray, Richards, Harder. Richards gets around McKenna, which is hard to do. Kicks a little far. Oh. Big pluck, Norton. It was never his ball. That's a good mark. That's a seriously good mark, isn't it? And that's what he can do. Speaking of good kids, pick nine in the draft a couple of years ago, and he knows where they are as well. But it's the work rate that puts himself in the position to be able to compete for it. It was a fascinating contest, wasn't it? Because I'm not sure whether Richard knew where he's going to go because he was in behind Zach Clark. But the fact that he worked so hard to get there made the kick look really good. Cut it down by Hayes. Good steal by Lipinski. Goes back towards McLean. McNeese. McNeese is like the last man on earth. Two dogs around him. He was the last bummer. And Dixon off the deck. Just the ability to halve or, or win those tricky little 50-50 balls. That's two really good contests from McLean there, wasn't it? One in the air where he spoiled it, and then back on the deck where he made the tackle. Norton got high again and landed well, but couldn't quite finish it off. Big smother that, knocked it down to Lipinski to Dale. Back to Lipinski, got some room to move, found McLean somehow. It's an elimination final tonight for the Dogs. In essence, they lose this. They are probably out of it. And it's been an awesome start from them. Four goals to one. English front of the pack. Ball knocked down to the back. Lloyd, goal sneak. This is this time. Murray, McRae, English, Lipinski, Harder, tucked up against the boundary. Pressure of plenty. Suckling inside. McRae heads long. Dixon's under it. Takes the grab. They just. 176 goals, 61 all time. He's normally pretty damn good. He's got a really. Good technical kick, hadn't he? Got McLean to Lloyd to Dale, who's got the Jets on. Gee, sprinted away from Heppel with ease. Now Dunkley, possession number 16 in the opening term, and he's just squeezed that inside the padding. Well, we, we touched on it before the first quarter, so he's up to 16 oh, against the Western Bulldogs for, when he was playing for the Demons. But that's a that is a seriously good quarter of footy, 16 to go. And 11 of them contested too, is that correct? Yep. yep. Seconds tick down. What an amazing first quarter from the Dogs. Blasted long. Norton, he drifted in and took a ripper. Same as the first quarter. That kick wasn't for him. But he just worked himself into a position where he could actually launch. That's when he looks best, when he's coming inside on. Bangs it to half forward. Hooker, bang. 
court, ridden, gone. Underground hammer to Shackey. Time from 50. He had McLean. Hits him, lace out. He could have had a picnic before kicking that. Seven in a row for the Dogs. It's off day, but if not, they're the sort of results we see, that the goal's out the back. So it's a few times now the Dogs have had that sort of look going inside 50. Yeah, to be fair to Redmond. Dale trip by his own man. Bottom Pelly. To thread the eye of the needle with the handball. Johannesson, McRae, Dixon, good grab. Had McNeese turned inside out. And he's 27 years of age. He's been around a while. Dixon out muscled him then and eight goals in a row for the Dogs. We, well, we talked about how good the Bombers were early, but it's changed dramatically. And then this on the back of this, Rue, as you said, they, they do flick it around. But what they are getting now is some real results on the scoreboard from the high. Norton stalking it. He's got three around him, Norton. Got one hand to it. Gleason shrugs one and gone. Yeah, they're just all over him at the moment. The players yeah. were running because they knew it was the open side and he chose to go back the other way. So Dale to intensify the pain. They need a safe word here, the Bombers. Nine goals in a row for the Dogs. Uh, and then every, every contest, there it is. Great tackle, two tackles, one guy follows up. You're, you're, it's a really good call, Ruby, because Merritt had someone on the other side of the ground, had someone on the fat side of the ground. Stringer. And he can't get near it and maybe gives a free away. Oh, yeah, that was late, wasn't it? Yeah. Him moments ago, English. Oh. Again, whether it's in the air or on the ground, most oh, contests are being won by the goal. Could have wrapped him up, McKenna. Yeah. Went to hit my shoulder option. Bad blue. They might get a late one. McLean long options inside. Hold, Hold on, Norton. He's got to have a shot. Yeah, he just panicked, Redmond. There, he, he's sort of just a bigger. Hasn't had a lot of shots from this spot all grounds, but he seems to like it. Ten goals in a row for the Dogs, and this is Essendon's worst nightmare. He, Gleeson. And listen to the boos from the Bomber fans. It's their home game. McRae, Smith, Bond and Pelly has a couple of bounces. Loads up long, out the back, Shecky! Not the second grab, but McLean cleans it up. 11 goals in a row for the Dogs. That's an exceptional kick from Bonham. Yeah, oh, great kick. Down. Yeah, Dixon it was more a bump than a tackle, so that's why it was called play on, but great forward pressure from, from Dixon. And Bontempelli breaks, and so often we see this kick, Shaki's goal side, we see it go in a straight yeah. line, but because he puts a little bit of angle on it, it means Hooker has to turn and find the ball again. Well, it was out of bounds, Dixon, that's why he dropped the ball. They dropped it for the boundary umpire, but yeah. he got caught for holding the ball. Oh, look at that. Oh. Dale, the footy gods against them, everything's against them. That make the review? <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> yeah. Heads of the square, McLean. Just over his head, he nearly made something of it. Goes back, gets it. Good enough to get a kick away, but it's offline. Lloyd got there late, knocked it down. Gleeson, about to be hunted down. Lloyd still lurking, looks inside. Does he want a target or does he want a goal? It's a post. Hunter back outside, or Dale on the run. Hits him on the bounce. Gives it back to Lipinski. It's a raffle out there. Who's got the winning ticket? Lloyd. He missed it. He got the consolation prize. Hands it to Hunter. Short to Dale. Missed him. Might still work. Hayes to Dale. To 40. To goal. 13. Dogs goals in a row. We're going to have another free kick here too to Norton, I think. Hands off! Hands off! Killed him up. His own in this game as well. Bonham Pelly been wrecking havoc. Little tap on McLean was clever. Lipinski back inside to the bond. 
back outside to McLean. Back inside to Hayes. Struts his stuff. Big time. There's no question. I mean, sometimes it's just simply the team that wants to work harder over the ground from contest to contest. If you come to a game of football and you see multiple jumpers of your team getting from one contest to one contest, you typically look up the scoreboard and you see you're in front. So, Call this hooker, dispossessed. Smith gets it up. Gave it to Dale. Gave it to McLean. Gave it to Lipinski. Stan Star to Shackey. Front on contact. Had to win the free. And this for 15 goals in a row. And Dwayne, I believe that was 23 goals that Cassidy Fremantle game okay. last year down at the Cattery. So at least he's putting himself in, this, in the situation and repeat efforts to get looks at like this. Concussed a few weeks ago, but he is back with a vengeance. That's a good point, Ruby, because as you know, once you get delightful, opens it up to McRae. He's got Lloyd out the back. Ties up with Gleeson. Ball thumped down to a dangerous spot. Johannesson at another one. 16 goals in a row for the Dogs. Well, but, gee, they, they can do no wrong at the moment. Even then, though, McRae from the transition from the stoppage, you, you, you showed that vision before, Rue, of how slow Essendon are to get away from the contest. McRae was the one that followed up, got the handball received, and then launched it inside 50. They're just three-quarter time, Marble Stadium. And if you weren't watching it, you wouldn't believe it. 16 goals to one. Critical of the Bombers forwards, but they they just don't tackle like that Bailey Dale tackle there. So they don't give themselves multiple chances to score. The bond to the Shack. And Shacky can got line three. up. Dale's got three. Norton's got two. Shacky's got two. And the Bombers have a massive, massive problem. So you get a second opportunity to score. One when it comes in to the Bailey Dale contest. Then you get a tackle. And then all of a sudden, it's a great kick by Bonham Pally. Not sure that he's obviously aware that Shackey's in front. But down the other end, that's Bonham Pally. He carries it in one hand, carrying it like it's his partner's Gucci clutch. Just with one hand on it. And now he finds Dale on the run. Bulldog goals. In a row. Crowd continues to disperse. And now a few more will go home now. Dunkley. This will be possession 36 to Bont. And Bont and Pelly can go back and just to sign him up on a six or seven year deal. They can't ever let this man go. And he misses across the face. Last kick. Half smothered. Ambrose with the pressure on him after that. Didn't get a clean kick away. Richards heads out wide. Hayes. Unselfish to Lloyd, who should kick a goal at this end. His name's above it. Bends it around the body, and Lloyd, at the Lloyd end, kicks the dogs' 18th goal in a row. Play out wide to Norton again. Pokes it to the pocket to the runner. Lloyd. Still a chance, it rolls away. Danny Frawley just called, oh. if you can. Oh. Easternwood in the meantime. He bangs it to half forward. Jackie stalking it. And English outread him, if you like. Shackie's gone down. I mentioned he missed a couple with concussion. He looks OK. Back to Richards. He misses to the near side. Good duck out of traffic. Gave to Johannesson. He pumps it. Dale in a one-on-one. -on -one. Turns back. And wins himself a free. Or will that count? Yeah, it counts. 19 <laughs> goals in a row for the Dogs. Oh. You, got, you always laugh when players take the advantage. Yeah, yeah. But you're right. I mean, it's 12 metres out. It's a big risk to take an advantage here. And kick one round the body. I mean, he nails it. Yeah. It didn't look like this. Could have got himself possession number 40 but it's play on advantage Hunter to Lipinski who can go to the pocket to Hayes I don't reckon that one goal was under a roof in 1920 no, either was it for 20 goals in a row mercy this is unbelievable 
I mean, that Dale was telling about wasn't against Footscray, we understand. And just, goals. and just one more for you, Ruzi, as well. The last yep. time the Bombers scored 13 points total in a game, 1906. They are showing them absolutely no mercy ah. whatsoever. Duray can load up from the arc. Hayes, goal square. Off hand, still a chance. Tried to keep it alive. Have to yeah. win one of those two, mm. at least, to make the finals. McCray. 21 in a row. Yeah, you heard right. 21 goals in a row for the Docks. Come on again. 123 points to the margin now. The greatest ever victory in the history of the Bulldogs Football Club is 120. Inside, but Donald Timber Woody. Has he got enough on it? It's bending. Hallelujah! And the Bulldog fans are cheering them. Take that. That's rubbing it in, yeah, if you've ever seen it. That is rubbing it in. One of the it? most amazing games we've ever seen. The Bulldogs kicked 21 goals in a row at one stage. It was the game of their dreams. But they needed to keep their season alive, and it was Essendon's worst nightmare. 21 11, 137 to 4 9 33.